Hi folks, Larry Wingett here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series where you can ask me, Larry Wingett, anything in the world you'd like to know, and I'd just be happy to give your question a shot. All you have to do is write me at info at LarryWingett.com. I will admit right now that this is a long overdue episode. It's been a little while since I recorded one of these. I have been busy recording Grow A Pair TV. Now, if you're not watching Grow A Pair TV, why not? It's free. It's much like this, except it's 30 minutes long. And I'll talk about all kinds of business topics, life topics. In addition to getting a good opening rant from me, typically you get an interview with one of my buddies, the world's leading speakers and, and uh, experts and authors on uh, areas of business and life, things that will actually help you, me talking to them, getting down to the nitty gritty of what it takes to be more successful. Every episode ends with some tactical how-tos that you can actually go out and implement and uh, apply in your life. I know if you watch Grow Up Hair TV, you're going to like it. All you have to do is find it on my website, LarryWingett.com, or go to Whatever It Takes Network by Grant Cardone. Uh, he set up a great new network, a lot of great shows on there. Some of my buddies are shooting some of those shows on there. And it's all free, so sign up at Whatever It Takes Network, or go to my website and just look at Grow Up Hair TV, and you'll find out that every week a new episode comes out. So I'll do my best to get back, now that I have a few of those in the can that I've been recording, and do more Ask Larry Anythings. Let's get right to this question. This one just, well, it just ticks me off. One, just because it's so stupidly written. And yeah, I get ticked off when people just write stupid stuff. Uh, not only the content, but when they just can't put words together to communicate very well, and when they use bad grammar and can't bother to spell. It especially pisses me off on social network when people make this huge argument against me, and they can barely write a sentence, and they can't use proper grammar, and they can't spell a thing. Do you understand that your credibility is damaged when you can't communicate effectively? If you can't spell, if you can't use grammar, your argument loses value? That's how it is. Uh, let's get to this question. I was inquiring about Ask Larry Anything. When was you inquiring? Looks to me like this is the only email we've ever gotten from you. So shouldn't you say I am inquiring about the Ask Larry Anything series? I was inquiring. When? All right. I know that he's probably answered this question many times. Then why are you asking it again? Are you too lazy to go back and see if I've answered the question? Or you just want me to stop and answer your question again because you're too lazy to go do a little research on your own? But I wanted to submit this one for all the young college students and for the ones... Now, this is where I have to try to in figure out the words because she has them placed in the wrong order. I'm submitting this for all the college students and for the ones that are trying to clean up. By the way, it's the ones who are trying to clean up. If you're talking about people, you should use who, not the ones that are trying to clean up, but the ones who are trying to clean up uh, their credit history and are wasting both their time and money doing it. Okay, if you're trying to clean up a damaged credit history, that is not wasting your time and your money. I applaud those people who understand that they've made mistakes in the past and now they're making an effort to fix their damaged credit. You, are, you pretty much have your credit history and your reputation. You can destroy both of them that quick and it might take a lifetime to rebuild both of those. But the people who are trying to fix the mistakes of the past and fix their credit history in order to make sure they have a better future, I applaud those people. And so don't put them down. That also ticks me off. Who the hell do you think you are to say these people are wasting their time and money? No, fixing your credit history is an investment in your future. And then she goes on to say, I don't want to own a house. I just want to live a stress-free life. I've owned houses since I was 21 years old. Those houses didn't cause me any stress, any stress at all. My own stupidity caused me stress. My own unwillingness to do what it took to make me 
able to pay, make the payments sometimes might have caused me some stress. Stress comes from knowing what's right and doing what's wrong. That's the only place stress comes. It comes from knowing what is right and doing what is wrong. Stress does not come from home ownership. Now, if you're saying, I'm young and I don't currently want to own a house, that's fine. If you've made that decision for your life, that's fine. But don't equate ownership, responsibility, with stress. It's not true. It's not accurate. Here's what also bothers me. Your situation will change. You've admitted you're young and you've lumped yourself in with young college students. Uh, so I'm telling you that you might be too immature. Boy, that'll tick you off. You might be too immature to be making decisions that will affect the rest of your life. So you're willing to go out and just keep bad credit scores and obviously not pay your bills on time because having a stress-free life means that you don't have to pay any attention to your credit history according to your letter here and not paying any attention to your credit history means that you're not responsible enough to actually make the payments um, and, and keep your word and have a commitment to your obligations people have loaned you money credit cards probably you have a gap card and and uh, all those stupid little store cards and you have those store cards and now uh, you've never felt any commitment in the past to paying them on time and you have a crappy credit history and you want to live a stress-free life so you're just saying I don't care about those I don't, because I don't care if I ever buy a house or not. Do you ever care if you get a job or not? Because employers look at your credit history and they decide what kind of person you are whether you're able to keep your commitments on what your credit history is. Are you a liar? Yeah, you are. If you have a bad credit history, you're a liar because you made a deal that you would pay people on a certain date a certain amount of money. You didn't do it, and now they've dinged you on your credit score because you didn't keep your word. You lied to them. You said you would, and you didn't do it. How about this? Do you ever want to rent a place, or are you just going to live in a box, or maybe in a van, down by the river? Because if you're ever going to rent a place, a landlord is going to look at your credit history. And again, they're going to say, this person doesn't pay their bills. They don't have a commitment to their commitments. So just because you think you don't want to buy a house today, you're telling yourself, I'll live a stress-free life and I won't bother paying my bills on time because I don't give a damn about anybody who's ever trusted me enough to front me some money so I can indulge myself in crap I don't need. I don't give a damn about those people. I'll pay them when I'm ready to pay them, if I ever pay them at all, and I'll have a crappy credit history, and that'll just be okay, and I'll get to live stress-free. You are an idiot. And you are everything that will destroy our society. Moms and dads, teach your kids better than this person was taught. By the way, this is our fault. We didn't step up and teach our children the importance of keeping their word, of being committed to their commitments, in other words, their obligations, their bills. We didn't show them that someone trusted them enough to loan them money. And that being an honest person of integrity means that you have to pay them back. We did a lousy job. And if you're a person who thinks like this, I pity you. Because your life is going to suck. Because you are never going to step up and accept responsibility. You're always going to be a victim. You're always going to look for the easy way. It's always going to be someone else's fault why, why, uh, why they won't hire you why they won't uh, rent to you, why they won't let you have the money for a house. Never understanding that you never paid your bills on time. A good credit history says everything about you. It tells me what kind of a person you are. It tells me how you were raised. It tells me what mom and daddy taught you was important. That's what a good credit history does. So... I won't name you, uh, just out of uh, kindness to you. Learn how to write. Learn how to communicate. Learn how to use good grammar. Learn how to spell. Learn how to pay your bills. Learn how to be a responsible human being who contributes to society. Understand that your credit history matters. It matters to your employment. 
It matters to where you get to live. It matters how much you'll pay for everything in the future on every dollar you borrow. Your credit history matters. Mamas and daddies, listen to what I've said here. Step up and teach your children better. All right, folks, this has been a good old-fashioned rant by Larry Wingett. That's me, the pit bull of personal development. You can probably tell now why I'm called that. I encourage you to write me at info at larrywingett.com. If you have a question, I'll try to do these more often, much like I used to. And please go to Grow a Pair TV. Just go to LarryWingett.com, find it, click on it there, and watch 30 minutes series once every week of me talking about all kinds of lessons for both life and business. Thanks so much.